World-renowned hedge fund managers George Soros and John Paulson are taking major stakes in the flotation of a Spanish property group. But what does the move say about Spain's economic recovery? Well, joining me now to talk about it is our property correspondent, Kate Allen. Kate, how significant do you think is this move? Can we now say that confidence is starting to return in the uh, Eurozone's periphery countries? Absolutely. This is symptomatic of a wider trend with investors looking for value in some markets which really hitherto have not been very popular for the last few years. Now, Mr. Paulson and uh, Mr. Soros are, of course, two of the, uh, the smartest and most closely followed fund managers in, in the world. Um, what do you think uh, this move says about both the Spanish economy and the Spanish property market, which of course went through the doldrums uh, through the years of the financial crisis? Yes, um, Spain had a terrible property market downturn. Um, this move reinforces the trend of investors feeling that probably the market has reached a bottom, that it's found, prices have found a floor, and therefore there's value to be had there, there's growth in the coming years. It reflects a confidence that Spain will return to economic growth and that that property demand will pick up. And just how bad did things get in Spain? I mean, of course, it wasn't the only property market across the Eurozone uh, to go through difficult times. How, how bad were they, though? It was pretty bad. I think Ireland is the only comparable um, kind of economy, really. Um, official um, ECB figures show that prices fell by a third, but in reality, they probably fell much more than that. It's just that nothing transacted in the market. The market's been frozen for an extremely long time. It's only really in the last six, seven, eight months that it's begun to wake up. Um, AXA Real Estate uh, did a major transaction back last summer, 172 million euros of offices in Spain. That was the first real major sign that the market was starting to come back to life. So clearly investor confidence returning to Spain. Is that also the case across all of the Eurozone's periphery countries, do you think? Certainly we're seeing a wider level of investor demand and confidence, not just in Spain, but in other countries as well. Mr. Paulson's already bought into Greek banks, for example, which the FT recently covered. Um, and Ireland has been very popular for quite a while now. The last couple of years, in fact, um, investors are already saying that they feel that all the value's already been snapped up in Ireland, which is partly why they're shifting their attention to Spain. Now, there haven't been many um, European real estate IPOs in recent years. Um, could that be about to change, do you think, though, on the back of this move? Well, we're starting to see a wider trend of IPOs. Obviously, in the last couple of weeks, there have been a lot of stories about companies across different sectors IPOing. I don't think real estate is any different to that. So, yes, there is certainly a lot more scope. Um, figures from Standard Life Investments, for example, project that they're expecting to see about 8, million, 8 billion euros of um, IPO activity in Spain alone this year. Okay, okay, Alan, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.